Hi, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Ask Dr. Nick. My name is Dr. Nick Schulkoffer, and I work for the Neurologic Wellness Institute here in downtown Chicago. And on today's episode, we are going to answer the question, can omega-3 supplements help children with symptoms of ADHD? And the simple answer is yes, they can. And I'm going to get into it with a, a review article looking at omega-3 and 6 supplementation for children with ADHD. Um, but the, the quick answer here, or the quick description, is that ADHD or attention deficit hyperactivity disorder um, can be an indigestive type, a hyperactivity type, or a combined type. And it's all a developmental delay or a developmental issue in a few brain regions that deal with the motor and cognitive systems. And generally, we need good motor development in order to have good cognitive development. And if development is delayed, especially in children, um, then, then that's going to produce symptoms of ADHD. And these can persist into adulthood if not fixed or not taken care of um, through, through other measures. And so the, one of the best things we can do for children is to supplement them with omega-3 supplements. Omega-3s are going to um, provide the brain with the structure, with the, the building blocks to form proper connections within the different motor and cognitive systems. Uh, motor and cognitive areas, but also help decrease inflammation as well. And so um, a lot of times we have uh, in children, we, we're not eating or they're not eating enough fatty fish or grass-fed meat with, with good high-quality omega-3 in them. And they're eating a lot of processed foods that are full of omega-6 fatty acids. And omega-6 are more pro-inflammatory, omega-3 are more anti-inflammatory, plus those building blocks for, the, for those connections. The brain is like 50% fat, uh, or sorry, so 50 to 60% fat, and then uh, most of it is EPA and DHA, which are both omega-3 um, supplements, or omega-3 fatty acids. And so um, supplementation can help improve these symptoms. So we'll see here in this article, so this article is from the Journal of Lipids from 2017. Uh, it's do omega-3 and six fatty acids have a therapeutic role in children with in children and young people with ADHD. And so put it simply here, ADHD is a debilitating behavioral disorder affecting daily ability to function, learn, and interact with their peers. Um, they looked at children who take omega-3 or omega-6 intervention or placebo. Um, it was a review article, so looked at many studies, 16 randomized controlled trials. Um, the results is that 13 of the 16 reported benefits of ADHD symptoms included improvements in hyperactivity, impulsivity, attention, visual learning, word reading, and working short-term memory. Um, four of the studies provided what they used for supplementation, and it was a nine to three to one ratio of EPA, eicosapentaenoic acid, DHA, docosahexaenoic acid, and then gamma linolenic acid, which is an omega-6, but an omega-6 that is generally more anti-inflammatory. Um, we're not gonna get into that aspect of it. Um, but conclusion was that ADHD is frequent debilitating, but um, with many people kind of going against these psychostimulant medications like Adderall or Ritalin, Omega-3 and 6 fatty acids offer a greater promise, maybe an adjunct therapy to these medications or maybe a replacement therapy. And so let's go down to their discussion here. Um, they said that most times omega-3 fatty acids given to children with ADHD um, have mild side effects, um, very mild, so there's no real issue. Um, sometimes incidental nosebleeds or just some GI discomfort. Generally, if we take capsules, capsules are not digested as well, so therefore it can lead to more GI discomfort. But if it's a liquid, which kids might have trouble you know, swallowing a liquid, um, that's kind of fatty, they may not like it, but that generally leads to less GI discomfort. Um, so diet or supplementation using omega-3 and 6 um, polyunsaturated fatty acids can augment conventional ADHD treatment, which is fantastic. 
Um, so this supplementation in these studies not only reduced behavioral and learning difficulties in children with ADHD, that it was basically refractory treatment to uh, medication treatment alone. And mild ADHD, so basically there was one study that looked at a couple different groups. Um, mild ADHD could be beneficial or it could be treated with only omega-3 supplements uh, to replace these stimulant medications. While severe ADHD, omega-3 supplements can reduce the dose of the stimulant medication, which is all beneficial, right? Um, so again, besides the hyperactivity and impulsivity that was reduced in these studies, other outcomes were like improved attention, visual acuity, improved word reading, which is all great, uh, improved working and short-term memory were also observed. This is huge for children because children with ADHD generally do worse in school. And if we can improve the ADHD symptoms, then we can also improve their um, outcomes, their success in school. And then here again are a couple of the, the dosings that they used. I normally dose based on, um, based on weight. So if we have a really big kid versus a small kid. So maybe just like looking at these ratios is good, but uh, it might be a good place to start, but we also don't know how, um, how large or how big these, these kids were. And so, uh, but EPA, DHA, and gamma linoleic acid, GLA, uh, nine three to one ratio. In some studies, they just use EPA and DHA, which is what I normally do. Um, and again, this kind of like nine to three ratio or three to one ratio there. Um, and yeah, so that is that is the short of it. Um, ADHD is is on the rise, and I think that we need better strategies to improve um, children's symptoms. And so, besides kind of decreasing processed food, decreasing sugar. Uh, any food sensitivities to help improve uh, overall inflammation in, in a child's brain. Um, using omega-3 supplements can definitely help as well and maybe can prevent the use of medications for little children who, with medications, um, I did not put this in the study, I guess, but um, medications will help most children at the time, but they never actually make long-lasting improvements. So therefore, um, when they get off of them, they may still uh, have their symptoms when they're in a, an adult, right? So again, if you guys have any questions or comments, please leave them below. If you have any uh, suggestions for future topics, I would love to hear them. Thank you again, and have a great day. Stay healthy.